Welcome to our lesson on sustainable fisheries and the use of biotechnology. The key questions for today are 1. What are sustainable fisheries? 2. Why are sustainable fisheries important? 3. How does the growth of microorganisms as a food source increase food security? 4. What is mycoprotein and how is it produced? 5. What role do genetically modified crops have in increasing food security? The key words you will need to know are sustainable, fish stocks, biotechnology, cultured, genetically modified. As fish becomes a more popular food source, it's important that humans fish in a sustainable way and don't catch too many fish, resulting in the fish populations falling. We refer to the populations of fish as fish stocks, and fish stocks should be maintained at a high enough level for breeding to occur. Breeding replenishes the fish stocks, meaning there will be fish available in the future. If fish stocks are not maintained, then some species of fish could decline to levels where the population will not recover. To ensure that fish stocks are maintained, the government introduces fishing quotas. This limits the amount of fish allowed to be caught. Fishermen are also not allowed to catch fish below a certain size, with the idea that the fish will only be caught once they have bred. To ensure small fish are not caught, there is legislation that controls the size of the holes in fishing nets. The holes have to be a certain size to allow the small fish to escape. Sometimes fishermen are not allowed to catch a certain species of fish or fish a certain area until fish stocks have been replenished. Task an increasing number of fish are being caught in a sustainable way. Suggest a reason for this. Public awareness has led to an increase in demand for sustainable fish produce. This means that the fishing occurring at the moment will not cause fish stocks to decline so that fish is available in the future. Some fish are kept in fish farms. This is when they are kept within nets or cages in the sea. Task. Why do fish in fish farms grow bigger than fish in the sea? Fish in fish farms have limited space to move around, so less energy is wasted on movement, meaning that their biomass will increase more. Fish in fish farms may also be fed more regularly. Extension. How do fishing quotas and net size regulations help to protect fish stocks? Fishing quotas mean that overfishing cannot occur, so there will not be too many fish caught. This fishing net size regulation means that the holes on the net must be large enough for small fish to escape. This means that young fish can escape and breed. Part of sustainably producing food is the use of biotechnology in food production. This includes genetic modification of plants and culturing microorganisms as a food source. Plants can be genetically modified to make them more able to withstand changes in the environment, such as drought or pests. Plants can be genetically modified to enable them to survive with less water, less nutrients, colder temperatures, etc., by inserting a gene into their DNA. Sometimes genes are added to food crops to increase the amount of vitamins or minerals present, such as adding beta-carotene to rice, which means it will be higher in vitamin A. 
This golden rice helps to prevent deficiency diseases in the population who eat the crops. Some plants can be made resistant to herbicides, meaning weed killers will not affect them. Task. Why is it an advantage for a food crop to be resistant to herbicides? If a plant crop is resistant to herbicides, it means that the area can be treated with the herbicide and it will kill the weeds but not the crops. This increases the crop production as there is less competition for the plants with weeds. Extension What could be a disadvantage of this method of increasing crop production? This method could promote the overuse of herbicides, which can be damaging to the environment. Also, the resistance to the herbicide could be passed on to some of the weeds, making herbicide resistant weeds. The culturing of microorganisms for food is also useful for increasing food security. The fungus Fusarium is used to make mycoprotein, a protein-rich fungus that is used in vegetarian food. The fungus is grown in large fermenters on a glucose broth. Oxygen is stirred through the broth to allow the fungus to respire. And then the fungus is harvested and purified. This can then be used to make food products. Mycoprotein contains many amino acids that are important in a human's diet. The amounts are less than in meat but are sufficient to meet a human's protein requirement. Mycoprotein is produced in a much more sustainable and efficient way than farming animals for food. Task. Describe how mycoprotein is produced. Extension. Discuss the differences in producing mycoprotein and producing chicken meat for human consumption. Mycoprotein is produced from a fungus called fusarium. The fungus is grown on a glucose broth with oxygen stirred or bubbled through. The fungus is then harvested and purified. The production of mycoprotein takes place in a fermenter, whereas chickens are raised in barns or fields. The fermenter area the fermenter takes up would be less than the area required to raise chickens that would give the same yield of food. The rearing of chickens requires food being purchased and fed to the chickens, and also sometimes antibiotics. The efficiency of producing microprotein is higher than rearing chickens. The use of microorganisms is not limited to food production. Bacteria can be used to make medicines such as insulin for people who have diabetes. The bacteria used are genetically modified and are cultured in large fermenters.